welcome to Clarinet HQ. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put your clarinet together. Um, now there are some ground rules for putting your clarinet together. You never want to force any joints together. Um, so if it feels like you are having to force the joints to fit, then you gotta stop and chances are you need to use cork grease. You don't need to use cork grease every time, but it's there for a reason and it's going to help keep the corks nice and smooth and moisturized so that your joints will fit together better. Um, the other rule is that you wanna make sure that you are not holding any of the joints in a way that could potentially bend any of the keys. And I will show you what I mean when I put my clarinet together. So, um, I actually already had to use cork grease on my uh, corks because it had been a while. So I know that my corks are already nice and ready to go. Um, I always put my bottom joint and my bell together first. So the way that I put my um, bell on is I'm holding the bottom joint with my right hand and I'm actually closing any of the tone holes that are down here with your lower notes. I'm closing those with my fingers just to make sure that I'm not gonna like bend them or push them out of alignment. And I use a twisting, pushing motion, okay? And it should go right in because uh, my joints are already nice and greased. Now the reason I start with my bell is because I then use my bell as like a grip because there aren't any keys on your bell. So that for me, that's where um, it can be safest so I'm not bending any keys. With your top joint, one important step is you wanna make sure that you are pushing down this middle key because that key will raise the bridge. Now, when you push that key down, you need to make sure that it's aligned with the bridge on the bottom joint. And again, a twisting, slight pushing. You're never gonna push straight down and you never wanna like do anything side to side. Um, and you also wanna double check that your bridge is aligned after you've put it together. And if it's not, then you do the same thing where you push down this, uh, the key that pushes the bridge up and you can realign it that way. The bridge key is what connects all of your keys together, okay? So if that is not aligned, if the top joint's bridge key is not on top of the bottom joint's bridge key, then some of your notes are not going to speak. Then you can put your barrel on and the last thing that I always put on is my mouthpiece. And that's because sometimes when we're putting our clarinets together, we have our clarinet to the side and maybe we're moving, uh, moving it around in our seat. And you never wanna accidentally whack your mouthpiece on anything because I have broken mouthpieces before and it's not fun. So that's how you can safely put together your clarinet. Uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. And thanks for stopping by.